Joshua, when it comes to smart meters, what is your biggest concern regarding this new technology? A, a number of, of reports from uh, around the state of California and other states where smart meters are being installed of uh, explosions, fires, and surges uh, that occur uh, uh, either from faulty installation of the devices or from the devices themselves. And we feel, and a number of other consumer advocates feel, that these reports have not been adequately investigated. Uh, they've been covered up by utilities. And these utility companies are hiring, um, you know, uh, uh, temporary workers to install these meters. They get a bonus for the number of meters they install. And uh, they, they, many of them have been incorrectly installed. Uh, we've had whistleblowers come forward who used to work for some of these contract co contractors uh, who are saying that these installations are unsafe. The whole smart meter program is unsafe. It's untested. Uh, and, you know, there have been uh, reports just on August 25th in, in the Bay Area, there was a, a case where about 200 homes lost power. All their el electronics were fried because of a surge uh, related to the smart meters. And, and again, this wasn't investigated. Our state public utilities commission and many other state public utilities commissions simply aren't doing their job to protect pu the public safety. Why do you think that this is taking place? Do you think it has to do with the smart meter or putting this new technology onto some old infrastructure? I think that uh, there was a lot of financial pressure on these utility companies to roll out this technology. Uh, there was not adequate testing. There was not adequate uh, pilot programs that were that were you know rolled out to test if there were any problems. Uh, and, and because of this rush to install, uh, we are hearing you know widespread reports of not only health problems, uh, privacy violations, uh, fires and explosions. Um, uh, but also, you know, accuracy issues, people are being overcharged on their bills. And uh, the, 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 this is all at the expense of ratepayers and taxpayers, um, you know, through stimulus funding, through higher rates on our, on our electric and gas bills. And at the end of the day, it's the utility industries who are uh, profiting handsomely while the, the, the public suffers. Joshua, there have been a few reports of fires, but what about the millions of smart meters that are getting installed and people aren't having any problems at all? Well, you know, uh, we're, we're not saying that every single smart meter is, is going to have a problem. Um, some people, you know, are, are not sensitive to the uh, pulses of, of microwave radiation that are, uh, according to experts, you know, hundreds of times more, more uh, intense than a cell phone. Um, but increasingly, as time goes on, more and more people who live with these smart meters are becoming sensitized to the radiation and are finding that, that you know, before they could be around cell phones and Wi-Fi and other wireless radiation are now becoming so sensitive that they cannot, they can no longer use their cell phones. What about the millions of smart meters that are getting installed and people aren't having any fires, per se? Well, you know, uh, it's not like every single smart meter is going to, you know, cause an explosion or a fire, but uh, there's something systemic about the way that these are being installed, that they're not being installed safely, uh, that they may not be compatible with older infrastructure and older wires, uh, but there has been a substantial uptick in the number of, of, of uh, meter fires reported since the, the, the national smart meter uh, program is, it, it started being rolled out uh, a year or two ago. So. Uh, even if it's just, you know, uh, 10 families' homes that burn down unnecessarily and, and, and 10 families who have to risk their lives, uh, we feel that's too many. Joshua, why did you get involved in this organization to start with? Well, we started this organization a year ago in, in 2010. Uh, my background is uh, I've got a master's degree in transportation planning. And, uh, you know, I, I really laughed at my girlfriend when she told me that she was afraid of the uh, health effects of cell phones and other wireless technology. I just didn't believe her. I think I called her a tinfoil hat crazy or something like that. And now, uh, after reading all the peer-reviewed science showing uh, health damage from uh, low levels of wireless radiation, um, I'm really convinced that there's a problem. I, I, I responded by getting rid of my cell phone. We uh, started organizing locally in Scotts Valley, and our organization, StopSmartMeters.org, has now spread to, uh, to become a national organization. And uh, this is just a response from our local utility, Pacific Gas and Electric, here in California, uh, coming to us and saying, you know, we're going to force a smart meter on your house, whether you like it or not. And, and that really got, uh, got uh, some questions um, going in my mind about why there's such a rush to this technology. And um, 
you know, I started looking into this and, and after we put up the, our website, we started hearing from hundreds and hundreds of people who were suffering health effects and uh, it's since snowballed from there. So I consider this, you know, a major threat to health and safety. Uh, people need to refuse to uh, have these smart meters on their home. If they have a smart meter on their home and they're having headaches or other health effects, uh, they need to demand that their utility remove it. And uh, people who are suffering health effects and their utility says we're not going to remove it, uh, you know, they're taking matters into their own hands in some cases and removing these meters themselves. Josh, what would you have to say to the power companies who claim that there are no negative effects due to these smart meters, including fires or any type of health hazards that could be caused down the road, that it's all I would say, safe? I would say that the, the, the utilities and the utilities commissions who are often you know, protecting the, the utilities' interests uh, are in denial about the debacle that the smart meter program has become. Uh, that given the World Health Organization and all the increasing uh, evidence for uh, cell phone radiation, smart meter radiation, and brain tumors, that we need to put an immediate halt to this program and, and work together on uh, uh, relocalizing our power supplies and, uh, and, and eliminating the harm that's, that's, that's coming from these. All right, Joshua, I know you're very busy. Thank you for joining us from California. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Dan.